Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. This summer, Johnson County deputies are expanding their regular patrol areas in an effort to clean up illegal dump sites in remote areas of the county. And over here, you have looks to be about 10 to 12 garbage bags of just regular garbage. Rising concerns over illegal dumps and littering throughout the county have prompted county officials to take action. Instead of paying for their garbage, help pick up or take it to a dump, They'll just take it to an area that, you know, some people like to ride through. A lot of people will ride their ATVs down through here. And deputies aren't the only ones watching. We do have cameras out now. If they want to go ahead and dump their trash, that's fine. But we will have a camera and probably will get your license plate or whatever. But illegal dumps aren't the only part of the trash problem the deputies are enforcing. Every home in Johnson County is required to have garbage pickup or show receipts that garbage is being taken to a certified dump. And trash in the yard is a red flag. Any officer that sees anything um, such as a house that is littered with garbage all over the place, excessive uh, rubbish outside the house. When excessive trash is found, citations are written and they are being enforced by Johnson County Attorney Mike Endicott. They have two weeks pretty much to clean up their property. If they don't clean it up, Mike enforces you know, a big fine and everything else. The sheriff's office is hoping its message about cleaning up trash reaches its residents before the deputies do. We are doing this. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're not going to uh, play games with you. It's, this is going to happen. More specific information on county ordinances can be found by contacting the Johnson County Judge Executive's Office. Reporting in Paintsville, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.